Uh, last week, the markets actually began that sell-off we've been talking about, bounced off that 20-day moving average, uh, retested the previous high that we had set earlier, sold back off, sitting right on that 20-day moving average again today. So as the markets open up right now, futures are pointing a little bit lower this morning, basically flattish. Here's what you need to know before the bell. That 20-day moving average, we're sitting right on top of it right now. The market, if it's going to hold this level, needs to hold that today, kind of figure out a reason to rally here. But we're still on that sell signal. So again, you know, we triggered this sell signal a couple of weeks ago. The market's pretty much, again, as we talked about back then, uh, was either going to have a decline or kind of consolidate sideways. Well, we've been consolidating sideways now for about two weeks. So again, the market's still continuing to hold up here at elevated levels, which is fine. Um, but we've now put in kind of a double top. That 20-day moving average is going to be key support here. If we break that 20-day moving average, we're going to start to look to retest that 50-day moving average. That's going to give you that bit of a correction that we've been looking for potentially this summer uh, to increase equity exposure. But right now, um, the market's still holding that 20-day moving average here. Uh, we're still on a sell signal. That sell signal still at a pretty elevated level, suggesting that we have some more work to do. So again, the market continue could continue to consolidate here sideways, not really do much, maybe move a little bit higher. We could work off that sell signal a bit if that happens, or you're going to get a correction, which will work off that sell signal as well. So, you know, we never know how this is going to work out. We've seen periods before, like we had back in, in uh, April and May, where for 45 days, the market literally just went nowhere, traveled right along that 20-day moving average. Could maybe be starting that process again. We'll see. Don't know yet. To, you know, I can't make a prediction here. But the market is starting to work on that 20-day moving average. So it's testing it, retesting it, testing it, retesting it. We'll see if it can hold it here. If not, again, we're going to see some lower prices, which really, you know, with the market up as much as it is this year, wouldn't be surprised, as we've said before, a 3 to 5 to 7 to 10% correction completely normal within any given year. And that would give you a much better opportunity to increase equity exposure you know, at some, at some better risk reward entry level. But again, just haven't really gotten a good setup here to increase that exposure. I suspect we'll get one over the next couple of months. Earnings season could be the trigger. We'll find out. But again, just be a little patient here. I know there's kind of this FOMO to jump in and chase things. We, you know, we want to get in, got to make some money. The market's moving up. I get it. But if you'll be patient, you'll get a better opportunity at some point. Don't know where or when, but you will get a better opportunity to increase that equity exposure on a better risk reward basis. So that's what you need to know before the bell this morning.